How do you prepare a student for a world that in five years we actually can't even imagine what it's going to look like? Technology has grown exponentially. If you look at the human race and like where we are now, it's, it's tremendous. It's amazing how quickly we're evolving and changing. And so in order for kids to truly survive, right, they're going to have to know how to speak this language. You can be actively researching, right, uh, using your device and then writing your responses on this page here. All of that technology, all of that access has changed the way students get to information. And by result, it has changed the way students leverage that information. In the old model, knowledge is a set of facts that's static that you try to pour into a student's head. And in the new model, knowledge is actually something that's created in a community. It's always alive, um, it's always living, and it's something that as the students are learning about it, they're actually participating. So the students are no longer just consumers of knowledge, they're actually producers. What if instead of filling a student's head or educating them around knowledge, we started educating them around thinking? We are going to start EvoQuest right now. We are looking for the team with the highest number of their species still left. So that means that you guys have done a good job of deciding what traits you wanted to have your species evolve with. So you guys ready? Yeah. You guys ready? yeah. All right. Who do you think is going to need sharp teeth? The carnivores or the herbivores? Send a small out. What we've been missing in education is really focusing on student engagement. We do what's called game-like learning here. That consists of taking things that make games really fun and engaging and incorporating them into the curriculum. Imagine if kids are super focused and they're trying to figure out how to go to the next level in this playful experience. And what if the turning point of that level up is actually an element from a periodic table? That is a learning moment for us. It's not I was told to remember hydrogen. I wanted to remember it because I want to go to the next level. We have a team working together of a game designer, curriculum designer, and teacher who basically work to look at the curriculum over the course of a trimester or semester and develop games to help support student learning. All the work we do at the Institute of Play is in service of fundamentally changing how people interact with the world. So we want people to see the world as a single, uninterrupted opportunity to learn. What we're going to be doing today is taking pictures while we're out here in the street, at the trees, the buildings, the sky, and trying to capture an egg that we can then hatch into a winged monster to send to the students at Chicago Quest that they can use to complete their mission. This idea of connected learning is that learning doesn't just happen in the classroom, but it happens everywhere, all day, all night. The kids live the curriculum, they live the learning, and we think that because they live it, it's going to be more memorable, uh, but also they're going to get the big ideas. What we're really trying to have our students come away with is this sense of empowerment or enfranchisement, that there's somebody who can affect change. If you have a device at your fingertips and you can access every bit of information that the world has, the requisite for you is no longer the ability to retain information. It's the ability to sort of put it together in unique, creative ways that nobody's thought of before. I think we all believe that there's so much potential in all of our students and having a way of teaching that really reaches each and every one of them is powerful. And so that's what we're really striving to do.